Hey guys, how you doing? I'm a Christian. Hi, my name's Jason. And I believe in Jesus. I believe in his principles. Of <clears throat> I believe in his principles of turning the other cheek when attacked. I believe in his principles that I am to pray for my enemies and to do good to those that persecute you for my name's sake. I should have my Bible, I think. That's how I'm feeling. Would you like my Bible? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll take this one. Okay. Because this is, this is the... Very similar to yours. Yeah. It's very similar, yeah. It's got some more notes and stuff in it. Uh, a Bible, a King James, uh... This is, this is calfskin. Iron calfskin. And this is now my wife's. I, I did the title page, you know. Because I always like doing the title page. And uh, I had it in my name because this was mine. I got the deaths in there. My, you know, you got to do that. But uh, you guys like personal stuff. You definitely do. So there's that title page, and I signed it over to Shani, and it was given to to her by Jesus Christ. And I hope someday she'll use the margins because this is a wide margin scripture. You see that? That's where you take your notes over in these sections here wide margin so i hope someday shanny takes this and, and and does her notes in it but she says she is not a note in the bible note person which i get but i just like I memorize it. yeah you memorize it that's right but no it's a really good place like like for for instance it's perfect in genesis where you pointed out to me oh life starts in the sea yep. i never seen that you could write that in that margin right and you'll always be like oh you could do it if you're a pastor it's great for teaching yeah. that's why they call it this folks i've never been much of a note taker though right this is a scripture made by local church bible publishers and they are the best makers of the scriptures you i'm telling you right now this will last you forever if you take care of it because the binding is oh my god the binding you see how it's old school it's like a bible from like 1940 you know they don't make them like this, but I highly endorse buying scriptures from local church Bible publisher. You're going to invest in it. Cause I believe this is like an $80 scripture, but it's like, it's iron calfskin. It's solid. You could beat this up and it's going to, but the, it's a sowing the seeds Bible, which a seed, a, a seed sower Bible, because you can put your teachings and, and your notes all in the site. It's beautiful, but I needed this next to me. Because, you know, I was going to come on here, and yes, this is about Gary. This is about, you using my first name, too, so that's it, you know. Gary, 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 Gary Lamont Moore, Gary Lamont Moore. I think, I'm doxed you. You're an idiot. You were the first one that gave out your docs. You're an idiot. I, this does not feel like turning the other cheek doing a video like this this does not feel like I'm being like Christ but the fact is that I'm human and I was just talking to Shani and she's like just do a video because you need to vent this and it's just venting this is just venting but I don't want to rage really I don't want to I don't want to be uncouth as I can be I very vile I can have a vile ass mouth man because right here in the scriptures, okay, it tells you in 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 Ecclesiastes and and the uh, uh, the Proverbs, which is there. Oh my, that might be my two favorite books in the Old Testament, is Ecclesiastes and Proverbs. It's very close to it, I think. I'm not really a numbers guy, okay. Like those ordinances and the naming of the names and stuff. It's all very amazing, and it makes the scripture this tapestry woven together by God and and the connections are all there like it's a cohesive 
so many people over the years have tried to debunk the Bible, and, the, and you'll have some people that put out these videos, mostly atheist people doing this, that they'll put out videos pointing out inconsistencies in the Bible, and it's just not there. Um, they're, they're all debunked. Like, this book is, look, I, I know that a lot of people don't like to, to think of the idea that they have uh, a responsibility as a human being because this is why people become atheists, okay? The reason people become atheists is because they may have been in a situation where they felt that they needed to do something bad and they didn't want a consequence for it. If you only have a problem with a book that's trying to have be a plumb line in your life of how to act, which this is great for. Okay, if you listen, if you just listen to the teachings of Jesus Christ and do your best to live them, you're going to have a good life because it's all about compassion for other people. It's not about self in in in, in oh my god, I can't speak. Sorry. It's not about self-gratification and living for your own mammon and, and all of this nonsense that, that's unfulfilling. It's about taking care of other people. So, atheism in a, in a, in a big way is a running from the Creator. And, and it's because you're scared of having consequences to your actions. So, I want to, I don't want to rant. Because if I go into a rant mode, I'm going to start talking like Jason Egroff and not like Jesus. But this is about Gary. And it's very much bothering me, really in a deep place where, where the anger is. And it's getting to me that I could feel like I had such a close friend. Like, I, I, and maybe this was just my own mental illness in, in that I trust too much. And I give the benefit of the doubt too many times to people. Like he used to say to you guys all the time, you know, I could put my phone down and Shani and Rev don't get, they don't care about it. They, they don't ever steal or look at my phone. That's right, we didn't because we don't do those things. But you talked so kindly and, 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 and like a brother, and, and when I was going through mental stuff, you were like a big brother going, you could do this, you, you, you could... And to turn so viciously and quickly and, and change your entire purview of what you're doing on your channel. This is why part of the reason why I probably have like PTSD for... I, I can't do this with people anymore. There's been too many times when I have opened up and I've been very open and honest with an individual and then it's used against me and there's a fucking knife in my side again. And I just can't do this anymore. Like, there's no way. I, I think that the likelihood of me ever wanting to, to befriend somebody on the internet ever again, I think the chances of that is a zero. <clears throat> forever because the the knife the knives are still stuck back there and in in my side I just can't it's like it hurts too much I, they're just there and they stick out there and I'm bleeding out this stuff will kill you which is why I cannot deal I cannot deal with this guy anymore. It's this is the more no pun intended. Maybe it was intended. No more bullshit. I can't do it anymore. I can't. I've had so many of these people that say that they care and 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 all of this turn around viciously with a butcher knife and chop me in the neck, man. And you can see it on my face. Like, I'm just done. Like, this shit has so emotionally fucked with me. It's like I feel numb. Like, almost numb. But, but then I try to sleep. And I toss and turn with these thoughts of, 
the world thinks that you're this. The world thinks that you're that. And what should I care what the world thinks? Well, I'm a believer in a civil society. And when you have constant slander of things you know are not true in your heart about yourself, it starts making you tear yourself down. When you hear these things over and over again, when it's constant in your mind when you're trying to sleep, it's torture. And it gets to you eventually physically, like your body can't take it anymore because you've been so manic about these repeating thoughts of negativity over and over and over again in your mind that it's like you just can't, you're in a collapse. It's like, I, I just don't have any fucking will anymore, man. I mean, living out in the middle of nowhere, you know, it's crazy. It's fucking, sorry, Lord. I own the Bible, I say the F word. I'm sorry about that. But the, you know this book well enough, I guess, Gary, you know. What, what are you, yeah, Shani went off for a while. Judas, bro. Judas. That's how you act. And, and Judas, they probably would have thrown an asylum too. You get what I'm saying? I'm glad I didn't rage. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't rage. I wanted this to be just, this is how I feel. Like just a fish. Ah! That's bizarre. I feel like a fish just flopping, you know, out of water. That's seriously. No, I'm still, I'm still recording. Oh, I it's, thought you were talking to me. No, I'm. T well, yeah, you too. I, it's everybody. I'm talking. All right. Sorry. Shout out to Life of a Free Spirit, Callie. All right. Your wig is cute. Shani likes your wig. See, I barely even... I, I know of you, Callie, but, like, you, you've probably said a few words on me and you don't know me even. Like, well... Hi. You know? I, I, the internet is insane. You, because you can feel like you, you have this connection with someone. And it's not real. It's illusory. It can turn into reality if you want that person enough in your life that you pursue them and, and, and they start to respond in kind. Uh, hey, that's a great deal. If you, But be careful, girls, all right? Because the good guys are out here like, do you know how scumbaggy we are? <laughs> yeah, really pervy men. Okay? Stay safe out there, because holy, there's, yeah. Did you hear about the SAs that was going on at TwitchCon? Yeah. Not surprising. It's not, and it really makes me ill to have to say that, but it's not surprising. And I'm not one of these guys that says, oh, you know, you blame the female because of the way she dresses. That's ridiculous. There's, there is no common sense in that. Okay? Would you say the same thing as a male a, a, if you're walking around with no shirt and you got a six-pack and stuff? No, of course, that wouldn't apply because, well, he's doing that for you know why. Yeah, well, that's what you're putting. You wouldn't like that. Huh? Guys, you wouldn't like that. Oh, you wanted it. He had no shirt on. But you've always got to put yourself in the shoes of the other individual. And then everything becomes clear. It's the same thing with the, the abortion issue. As a Christian male, you got to put yourself in the shoes of the Christian female and go, wait a minute, I wouldn't really want some person that has nothing to do with me having having a say in my own health care. No, you don't. It's your body. It's not mine as a male. 
and we could talk about that scripture issue with with Paul and be subject unto. Yeah, read it in context. We're supposed to revere our wife. Revere her. And, and that's at the thirty or sorry, the forty year old virgin line, you're putting the you're putting the pussy up on a pedestal. Yeah, you're supposed to. It's it's Christian to do that. We're supposed to value our wives so much that it's like a shined trophy. And that doesn't mean that they're barefoot in the kitchen and that's it. And baby factories and subjugation, being subjugated. No, that's not the Christian way at all. But of, of course, you, you have people like Gary that, that really misuse the scripture because he's a misogynist pig that looks at every woman that he can say, oh, there's something I'll, I'll throw there out, out there. It's pathetic to see him with, like, like a, a chick that looks like a punk chick with, like, ripped up jeans and stuff. And if he, it, he likes that type of thing. And he, he's like a dog with his tongue out. It's, it's pathetic. He's a child. Like, uh, that's, that's bottom line. He's a fucking child. He's one of the most immature adults I've ever seen. And, and I know he works and everything, that's fine, you know. He's got one up on me. Um, but the way the guy acts is he's literally elbows. He had, his intellectual capacity is about that of a 15-year-old or 60. Will is way smarter than him. Well, I mean by an order of magnitude of like, by a tenfold. That's how much smarter Will is than Gary. And the boy is 15. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, I had to do this. I had to vent. I'm glad it's not rage, though. Because I could go there so easily. I was literally doing that in the bed. Like, and that's why Shani's like, do a video. And I, yeah, it was the right thing to do. It's better than you keep cycling over and over again. Eh? Yeah. And, yeah, thank you. And it could end up in bad stuff. I don't want it. Because I'm, I'm not with my anti-anxieties, and it's rough, you know. Uh, if that's how you feel on the inside, Dragnaut's going to use that. Uh, he's going to use that. We love you, Drag. It's fine. I put, the, I put that under the bridge, man. I'm serious. Like, it's long over for me. I, it's, I'm done with it. I just want... I told you in my PayPal messages, man. And thanks for everything you gave me. I appreciate it. Uh, I want peace. Because if we could all succeed in this, everybody's happy, right? Right, Drag? That's true. I'd never come after you, dude. I wouldn't come after Gary. Either. Gary's the one that started this shit. And getting on my back. He started this shit with drag with us, too. Yes. Yes, he did. The emails back and forth, that crap. And he was trying to pin it on you, drag, that you started the crap. But it's not true. Like, he had, he has had a boner for you for so long, dude. And I think it's because he's jealous, because he knows you have a level of intelligence that you went through school and now you're doing what you do. You know, it's I think there's definitely jealousy there. Without a doubt. Like, I've seen him in person, Drag, you know? I've, I've seen it. And it's it's like he envies you, man. I think he's jealous of the fact that, that you have the intellectual capacity to go through school the way he did. But I had to do this. I had to let it out. I had to take a bag and just dump it on you guys. I'm sorry for that. But I was holding this this emotional baggage of this dude. I'm like, man, he was a friend. No, he wasn't. That, that, see, that's the thought. I, you could get in my head a little bit and see how these thought loops could drive you nuts. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was a cool person to hang out with and friend. No, he wasn't. He was plotting against you every time that he was in a room with you. You just thought that it was a real friendship. You were deluded to think it was a real friendship. That's what I'm dealing with. And it's 
for a person that's an empath, and I have a level of empath in me, it's definitely there. I feel pain. Like when Shani's in severe pain, I feel pain. But see, G-Man's a narcissist that revels in, in drama. WWE-style drama. And he's proven it with his channel now. That is nothing about Jesus there at all, man. Nothing. He's a horrible witness for the Lord. And pretty much always has been. I give the benefit of the doubt all the time on stuff. And I'm learning that I, I'm, being, I'm, I'm not wise as a servant in that sense. I, I, need, I need to grow out of trusting everybody at their word because a lot of people don't. Their word isn't worth shit. But you give it to them anyway and then you're trampled. You're physically trampled and figuratively trampled underfoot. And nobody wants to get trampled, folks. Right? No. No one wants to be trampled. And no one wants fake friends. Who the hell wants a fake friend? Who? Unless you're really emotionally damaged and you like people hurting you. In which case I pray for you and, and tell you, you know, you maybe find a good therapist out there. But man, I'm hurt. I'm not raging, I'm not... Yeah, there's a level of anger. There's definitely a level of anger. And that's what's bothering me the most. Because I'm trying... Part of my, <clears throat> part of my mental health recovery, or getting my place into a good mental state, is setting aside anger and wrath. I have to do that. But I was like this. Like, angry about this. So thanks for listening to me, you know, just dumping on you. <clears throat> but she had said it and it was right. It's like, you're, you're bothered. You need to get this stuff out. And I do. I think I feel a lot better now. I'm hurt more than angry. That's what I want you to know. And I want Gary to know. I'm far more hurt than angry, dude.